What's the key to getting into a rhythm this week? I mean, just executing our game plan, really. That's what it is, executing our game plan. Um, players making the plays and, you know, just uh, execute. What's your mindset through this, through this stretch? What's your mindset, man? Man, um, so my mindset with all this stuff, man, is, uh, you know, um, man, just keep persevering, man. There's, you know, um, everybody fighting their own battles, you know what I mean? Obviously, we're not doing good, but I think we all got to understand and I got to understand. I got to understand, too, like, you know, there's bad things going to happen, you know, along the way. Um, nobody wants to deal with bad. Nobody wants bad to happen, but, you know, it's part of the sport. It's part of adversity, too. Um, you know, me being, you know, who I am and, you know, uh, the expectations, obviously, the first rounder, you know, you got all this stuff. Um, you know, my mistakes tend to be bigger, you know what I mean? So I got to understand that. Um, I got to face, you know, I face all of it head up, chin up high, and I get back to work every day and practice. You know I mean? Stuff's going to happen as part of the sport, which is persevering. You know, I can't think of not one athlete who didn't struggle with something, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, this is our, our time for ad, to face, to get over this adversity right now. You mentioned the phrase stacking bricks. Has it been a good week as far as stacking bricks and, and working on details? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Every, every, uh, every week is, you know, the small things matter. Um, you know, every week is a new challenge, and you know, obviously this week we got a good team and stacking little bricks and just doing the little things that we can to persevere is, is uh, where we're at. And I think that this has been a good week. This week, uh, Coach Tomlin brought up, you know, you had that foot injury in the preseason, and maybe that kind of hampered you a little bit. Just to you brought that up? What's that? He did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was, I was curious just how much you felt like that did impact the early start of your season. Where are you at from a health standpoint right now? Of course, yeah, good question. So, um, yeah. Obviously, uh, I missed about seven, eight weeks. Missed the whole off season or the whole uh, camp. Um, missed about a couple preseason games, and then uh, you know, I was uh, I, I got put a steel plate in my shoe, so uh, you know, kind of prohibits me from doing certain things. Um, but I just took it out maybe yesterday. Took it two days ago. So I mean. You know, um, uh, it's gotten a lot better, obviously, is what I'm trying to say. You know, yes, it did, because I missed out a long training period. Um, you know, I was out just recovering. So, obviously, we got a lot of guys on the old line. I haven't got time to work with them yet. Um, so, you know, yeah, that, that, that is a, a reason. But I'm not going to blame it all on that. You know I mean? Still, accountability is one thing that I, I like to take seriously. So, um, you know, a lot of it's on my fault, you know what I mean, too. But um, just like I said, it's part of the sport, man. You know, everybody's facing something. You 100% right now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took off the, the plate um, two days ago, maybe. Yeah, so I've been practicing without the still plate in my toe. Naji, you seem to be at your best when you're involved with the passing game and the running game. What, uh, have you had any conversations with Kenny about trying to get more involved in the passing game, especially now that you said you're feeling a little better? Yeah, um, I have not. You know, those are things I can't control. Uh, we got a great office coordinator. We got a great. We got a great team. We got a great game plan. Whatever the game plan is, just comes up to, up to us to execute it. If I'm in the passing game or not, um, I understand what you're talking about, though. But you know, I, you know, I, I just do what I can control. Are there any restrictions with that steel plate in your shoe? Sorry. Were there any restrictions with that steel plate? Like, was it harder to, to get a burst or? Uh, no, not hard to get a burst. It was just, you know, uh, I mean, it's a steel plate in one of the shoes. So I mean, like, you know, it's, you can't really. Like yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like one guy's still playing, one doesn't. So, like, you know, uh, now, I'm, now I don't got it, so I have to, like move around a lot more, stuff like that. You know, um, feel a lot better. You know. Yeah. I was going to ask you about one of the rookies. It could be an opportunity for Connor to get some, get some reps at tight end. What have you noticed about his development? What, what he brings to you guys? Yeah, man, Connor's gonna get a lot of reps, obviously, with uh, Pat being out. Um, but you know, just even in. And um, later, in, earlier in the year, you know, he showed a lot of a lot of big time plays. I can remember one time he made a one hand catch that raised a lot of eyebrows. <clears throat> so, um, you know, obviously he's going to get a, a good opportunity and against a good team too. So, put good stuff on film. Last question.